This tutorial will demonstrate how to enter maternity leave and statutory maternity pay for a female employee. Firstly, select Payroll, followed by the employee's name on the left to access their pay slip. Under Statutory Pay, click the Calendar button, and on the employee's calendar, select the baby's expected birth date. Click the Parenting Leave option to the right of the screen and choose Maternity Leave from the list. On the Maternity Leave screen, complete the Dates section accordingly and select the employee's length of leave from the drop-down menu. The employee's expected week of childbirth and qualifying week will automatically be calculated. Should the employee be absent due to a pregnancy-related illness before her maternity leave begins, enter the illness start date in the field provided. If her absence continues into or starts within the four-week period beginning on the Sunday of the fourth week before the expected week of childbirth, her maternity leave and statutory maternity payments, if entitled, will begin automatically from this point. Her length of leave will also be updated to reflect this and can be amended if necessary. BrightPay will automatically calculate the employee's average weekly earnings to determine whether the employee is entitled to SMP. However, should you wish to override this automatic calculation, simply untick the box provided and manually enter the employee's average weekly earnings. To retain the information entered, click Save. The employee's calendar will automatically be updated with their maternity leave. Press Close to return to the employee's pay slip. BrightPay will automatically calculate and apply any SMP due when the maternity leave period begins. In the event that sufficient historical payroll data isn't available within BrightPay to calculate the employee's average weekly earnings, but you are aware that they are entitled to receive SMP based on previous payroll records, simply click on the Edit button and tick to override the average weekly earnings calculation, followed by the average weekly earnings amount. To view or edit the employee's maternity leave details at any time, click Edit, followed by View, Edit Details. BrightPay will continue to apply any SMP due until the maternity leave end date is reached. Should an employee attend work during her maternity leave, she'll be able to work for up to 10 days without losing any SMP. These days are known as keeping in touch days. To record keeping in touch days, firstly click the calendar button within the statutory payments section on the employee's pay slip. On the employee's calendar, highlight the day or days the employee is attending work, then select the keep in touch day option on the right hand side. Once an employee has used up her 10 keeping in touch days, she will lose a week's SMP for any further week in which she works during her maternity leave. BrightPay will automatically apply this rule in the payroll when the number of keeping in touch days entered on an employee's calendar exceeds 10.